Hello and welcome to Arc Attack. And today we're going to make use of your old toilet roll tubes. And you know what we're going to do with them? We're going to make them into a rocket. Um, so first, you'll need a pencil, paintbrush, a paint color of your choice. Now I've got red, green, blue and white here. And today I'm going to use blue, but you can use whatever color you want. We're going to need two pieces of paper, about half the size of a normal sheet. So that'll do me fine, really. Some stars. Now, you can get these from any shop you want, but it preferably has to be a craft shop in town. Ask your mum to go with you, and she'll get it with you. I'm sure she will. And if not, their racket's OK without it, really. Um, some tin foil and something circular to draw around. Um, I'm suggesting maybe a roll of sellotape, but today I've got a lovely CD box. You'll also need glue. And also, you'll need to ask your parents to watch over you while you do this, because we're using scissors today. Right. So to start with, we need to get our toilet roll tube and we're going to paint it blue. Well, I'm going to paint it blue. You can do whatever your colour you want. Right, so I'm getting my paintbrush. I've opened my paint. Ooh, there's not quite enough paint here. Well, as you can see, I've started on that. But to save time, I'm going to put my paintbrush in a cup of water. And here's one I made earlier. Make sure you put your paint away after you've done with this. And make sure you wait for it to dry, because we don't want all sticky paint fingers. Right. So first, I am going to get my tin foil. And we're using scissors, so be careful. And I'm going to cut out two strips. There we go. I'm going to wrap these around my rocket to make some lovely little stripes. You just get the glue. There we go, making it nice and sticky. Careful you don't get your two hands too sticky. Now, to save time, I'm just going to use one of these, but you can put another one up here, if you wish. Right, now we're going to put this aside and let it dry, so we don't get all those sticky fingers. Eh. And here are some things that you can make with toilet roll tubes. They're all on our website, which is here. Just ask your mum to help you find it. So here we have some funky pen holders with some googly eyes, they're really cool. And some animal pen holders, we've got a monkey, a rabbit, a penguin, a cat, a frog and a dog. Whoop whoop! And over here we have minions, a crown and I can make my crown useful in my very own fortress, a castle. And also, do you want to see the coolest thing I made earlier? It's my very own superhero logo. Isn't it nice? Now that's not quite dry yet, but here's one I made earlier with two stripes. Now we're going to make some flames go on the bottom of our rocket, so our rocket goes whoosh right into the air. Now for this, you need a red piece of card or any piece of colour, any colour card really. You can have pink flames, green flames, but today I'm going to have the traditional red flames. So for this, you need to get your scissors and cut one wiggly line. There 
there we are. Then what another wiggly line? See, there's my first flame. I'm going to get this flame and attach it to our rocket. Now for this, because glue can get quite sticky, I'm going to use some sellotape. So you can use glue if you want. Just ask your mum to help you so you don't get too sticky. Or you can use sellotape, which I find is a lot easier. And as it's on the inside of our rocket, we're not going to see it, are we? So it doesn't matter. So pinch my fingers together, place it where I want it, and stick it down with the tape. There we go. Nice, lovely flame. Now we're going to have to get these flames all the way around the, around the rocket. There we go. So we need to do this again. And I'd say we need about eight flames for this, but as many flames as you want. You can have the firest rocky rocket of the world in the world if you want. Right, to save time, here's one I made earlier. Next, we're going to make the tip of a rocket. So our rocket has a nice point to fly into space. So for this, you need your other piece of coloured paper. I've got green. It's a lovely bright colour, but you can have whatever you want. I've heard pink's quite fast to get you into space. And then you're going to need your circular shaped object. I've got my CD case, but you can use whatever you want. You're going to place it onto the card. You're going to get a nice thick pen. So you know what you're cutting, because we're going to use scissors next. <laughs> you're going to draw around it. Nice big circle. It's best if you do this quite slowly because if you rush, you might get an awkward circle. Nobody likes an awkward circle. And then you're going to draw a dot in the middle, just like that. See, there's a big dot here. And then you're going to get your pen again. You're going to draw a line from the dot to the circle. Try and make it as straight as possible, but it won't matter if it's a bit wonky. Just like that. Gonna put our pen away. Get our scissors. Make sure you ask your mum to watch you while you do this. And you're going to cut round the circle. There we go. So cut this out. Make sure you don't cut it too wonkly, because otherwise it won't get very fast into space, will it? You're going to cut down this line here. So we've got a little slit here. And we're going to fold it round to make a nice little hat shape. like that and I'm going to use sellotape for this because it's easier but if you want to use glue to make it look a bit more professional then you can do just gets rid of those horrible sticky fingers so we've got our shape here pinch it to make sure it stays in place you sellotape to the line and sellotape it together like that and we're going to get rid of our excess tele tape from the end. 
put it off so it's nice and neat. Now we've got a little hat. But this hat isn't for us, remember? It's for our rocket to make it fly into space. Right, what do we need to do now? Of course, to glue this to this. Again, I'm going to use sellotape to make it a bit easier. I'm going to fold my sellotape round. make a little parcel so when you roll it between your six fingers it's very sticky. I'm going to stick it to the side like that. I'm going to make maybe four more of these. Now once you put all your sellotape on you can put the hat on. Ooh. It's a bit fiddly this so you might want to ask your mum to help you. There we go. Whee! I don't think this is going fast enough. You know what we need? Some magic stars. Where have they gone? Oops. There they are. Got loads of magic stars here. But we're only going to put a few on. So you get your magic stars. You get your glue. Then you need a little bit of glue on it to make it stick. And then... Put a nice shiny star on it. And here's what it will look like when it's finished. Your very own super rocket. Woo! That's all we've got time for today, but how time flies when you're having fun, eh? But we'll have so much more fun next week, all over again. We're making paper chains, guys. Now remember, that it's not rocket science! See you next week!